we do pray with you. Somebody say amen. Na kwa mwingine anamuita Jehovah Roy, akionekana anakuwa Jehovah Shama, akionekana anakuwa Jehovah Sikenu, akionekana anakuwa Jehovah Elohim, anaonekana anakuwa Ebenezer, anaonekana sasa alipokuwa anaonekana mpaka tulipofika miaka ambazo wanadamu walikuwa wameshindana na manabii maana akiduma manabii bado watu walikuwa na wanaazi Bible nasema sasa akaona mwenyewe katika Yohana 3:16 na Mungu akaona wacha shuke mwenyewe kwa umbo la kibinadamu maana wakati ule katika akano la kana tungemuona katika macho amen So akakuja katika akano jipya. Na Bible nasema mwanamke akawa na mimba na hiyo mimba sio mwanadamu aliyetunga. Watu wote walikuwa wamepata mimba kwa kutungwa. Lakini huyu alikuja mwenyewe. Bible nasema akasaliwa kama mwana. Amen. Haleluya. Na Bible nasema aliposaliwa kama mwana, Mungu akatusaidia. Akakuja akaketi nasi, akakaa na sisi, akakula, akacheka, akaangalia wanadamu na Genesis inasema na Mungu akamumba mwanadamu kwa mfano wa sisi tunafanana na mfano wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Na Bible inasema katika hiyo hali Mungu akaona dhabihu peke yake ya kurudisha mwanadamu kwa Mungu ni kwa sababu ya dhabihu ya kwa, ya, ya, ya mwana kondo ya yeye kufa tena ili akomboe mwanadamu aliyepotea katika bustani ya Edeni lazima angekufa. Na Bible inasema jina ambalo alipewa alisema wana mtoto huyo atakuwa na mamlaka na ana uwezo juu mbinguni na ana uwezo juu duniani wale wasiwe unajua leo nikikuita baba hiyo ni heshima ni jina la heshima amen na kanisa tutakuita mwalimu ni jina la heshima lakini jina lako linaitwa na Samson Amen. Wale wale sasibiwe. Akashuka chini. Akaitwa mwana. Wakasema huyo mwana atakuwa na jina. Akapewa Emmanuel. Na wakati ule alisaliwa, akasema huyu mtoto utamuita Yesu. Maana jina hilo hakuna majina mengine. Bwana Yesu asibiwe. So jini ya dunia akapewa mamlaka ndio sababu alipokufa alienda kuzimu na akapaa tena juu akaenda mbinguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio akasema nitaenda nitarudi. So hakuna vile unaweza fika kwa Mungu bila huyo. Ana ufunguo. Na anasema mahali atatupeleka sisi tuko. Huko yeye anachua. So leo mimi nikiitwa Aposto, hiyo ni cheo tu. Nikiitwa Jeremiah, hiyo ndio jina yangu. Amen. Amen. Na mtoto wangu ataniita nani? Baba. Ataniita? Baba. Lakini jina langu kamili ni nani? Jeremiah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So baba Mungu, baba Mungu Mwana, Mungu Roho. Haleluya. So sasa hii tunamwabudu katika roho. Ndio unaona asubuhi hii lazima tuchangamuke kwa maombi. The only key nataka watu tuombe. Na naomba Mungu atusaidie asubuhi kila wakati asubuhi. Hata kama mtu atakuwa anasikia akuje ndio arudi kwa nyumba. I am willing for that. We need prayers. Haleluya. Waimbaji naomba Mungu awapatie breakthrough this year. Ile breakthrough tuliona tuanzishe tena hiyo moto na iwake. Bwana mwenyewe Mungu atatulipa. Amen. Amen. Tusimame kwa miguu yetu tunapoleta mwalimu wetu ili atubariki. Baba ni asante anaponena na mioyo zetu Mungu tusaidie tufunike kwa damu yako. Sifa na utukufu zikurudie in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. siku baada ya siku bwana hakuna aliye kama wewe bwana 
tunawasia tunalibariki jina lako asubuhi ya leo. Tumekuja hapa Bwana kwa ajili ya kusikia kutoka kwako. Kwa ajili ya kurudisha shukrani kwa yale umetenda Bwana. Na pia kwa ajili baba ya kukulilia kwa ajili baba ya hoja za mioyo yetu Bwana. Yesu tunakimbia kwa kwa sababu tunajua hakuna pengine pa kukimbia isipokuwa kwako Bwana. Maana jina lako ni ngome imara na wenye haki wanalikimbilia na wanakuwa salama. Yesu tumekimbia kwako tuwe salama Bwana. Magonjwa yetu tumeyakimbiza yote kwako tuwe salama na tukapata uponyaji. Upungufu wetu Bwana tumekimbia kwako maana jina lako baba ni ngome imara wenye haki wanakimbilia wanakuwa salama. Upungufu wetu umetumekimbia kwako Bwana maana wewe ndiwe mchungaji wetu baba na hatutapungukiwa na lolote. Kwa hiyo Jehova kwa mapungufu yetu tumekimbia kwako sababu tunajua huyo ambaye amelete mapungufu sio wewe Bwana. Wewe unakuingia baba kutuchunga tu, hatukosi lolote Bwana. We shall not lack tumekimbia kwa kwa sababu baba tumejipata kwa maji ambayo si matulivu bwana yesu tunaomba ukawe mchungaji wetu tuliza baba mawimbi yesu tumekimbia kwa kwa jehova maana yesu watu wamekusanyika kinyume nasi bwana na masia ukiwa upande wetu bwana yesu tunajua ya kwamba wataendelea kukusanyika na kukuja kinyume nasi lakini ukiwa pande yetu bwana masia watakuja kwa njia moja na watatawanyika kwa njia saba kwa hiyo tumekimbia kwa kwa bwana masia tumekimbia ndia kwako bwana maana yesu tuko kwa bonde huo bwana uvuli wa mauti yesu umetuzingira lakini tumekimbia kwako bwana maana fimbo yako na gongo yako bwana yesu tunaomba nguvu kutoka kwako yesu tukavuke salama yesu masia tumekimbia kwako bwana maana mishale imerushwa kwetu bwana mishale imerushwa na watu wa ovu bwana yesu tumekimbia kwako yesu ya kwamba baba ukaagize malaika wako baba baba kwa ajili ya maisha yetu bwana ya kwamba Shale baba ile urushwa kwetu bwana wacha ikawarudie wale waliorusha Yesu tumekimbia kwako bwana maana watu baba kwa makusudi baba maovu baba wamekusudia kisiri siri na wametuchimbia mitego baba ya kwamba Yesu ameweka mashimo baba kwa njia zetu bwana tukaanguke humo Yesu Yesu tumekimbia kwako ya kwamba baba ukasababishe wao wakaanguke humo wenyewe Yesu asubuhi ya leo tumekimbia kwako ya kwamba Yesu tukakabidhi maisha yetu mawazo yetu watoto wetu familia zetu ndoa zetu kazi ya mikono yetu mikononi mwako Bwana maana tukiwa mikononi mwako tuko salama Bwana tukiwa mikononi mwako tuko na nguvu Bwana tukiwa mikononi mwako tunayaweza yote kupitia kwako ambaye utatutia nguvu Bwana Yesu tumekimbia kwako asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba Yesu neno lako likatimie ya kwamba hatutakuwa tena kama mayatima bali roho wako ambaye unatuma kwa kwa ajili yetu baba atatutia nguvu roho wako atatufundisha roho wako atatufungua macho roho wako atatufungua masikio roho wako baba atasababisha tukayajue mambo baba makubwa mazito ambayo wengine hawayajui bwana tumekimbia kwako bwana sababu tunajua bila wewe Yesu hatuyawezi lolote ajoje chochote bwana tumekimbia kwako Yesu ili Yesu kesho yetu iwe bora kuliko leo maana unasema unainua watu viwango hadi viwango bwana tumekimbia kwako Bwana maana Yesu bila ya wewe tutaenda kando asante kwa kuwa wewe ni mwema Yesu tunaomba ukanene nasi asubuhi ya leo Yesu tunaomba tukasikie kutoka kwako Yesu tunakataa pepo ya uzingizi maana tunajua yule mwovu Bwana wakati unataka kunena nasi atalete unyonge Bwana atalete uzingizi baba atalete distractions Jehova ya vitu ambavyo vinatusumbua katika maisha katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo Yesu tunaomba baba ya kwako ukatumane roho wako Bwana the spirit o oh lord that give us gives us strength the spirit of power the spirit of sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus i pray Amen. Asante Yesu. Tunaweza kuchukua viti vyetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tuelekee katika Biblia yetu kitabu cha Waefeso moja. Tutasoma mstari wa 4 na mstari wa 11. Kama kuna mtu ana Kiswahili version please naomba ukatusomee kama vile alivyo tutagua katika yeye kabla ya kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu ili tuwe watakatifu watu wasio na hatia mbele zake katika pendo kwa kuwa alitangulia kutuchagua ili tufanywe wanawe kwa njia ya Yesu Kristo 
sawasawa na uradhi wa mapenzi yake. moja Na ndani yake sisi nasi tulifanywa urithi. Huku tukichaguliwa tangu awali sawasawa na kusudi lake yeye ambaye hufanya mambo yote kwa shauri la mapenzi yake. Tu wacha tu usikize Kiingereza asante sana barikiwe sana. Just as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, pre being predestined according to his purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Father, we thank you for the, your word. We ask for the revelation knowledge, O Lord. Make us understand and most of all, make us live according to the spirit and let our word in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Daudi akasema ati akiwa tumboni mwa mama yake, Mungu alifanya nini? Alimjua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yaani kabla uzaliwe, kabla utengenezwe kabla chochote kifanyike kwa maisha yako Mungu tayari alikujua kwa sababu gani Biblia si inasema yeye ni mwanzo na mwisho so kumbe earth and everyone who will come and exit earth ni kazi ilishapangwa kita kitamu Bwana Yesu asifiwe unapozaliwa kabla uzaliwe wacha tuseme kabla uzaliwe Mungu tayari anakuaga na mipango ya kwamba wewe utafanya nini tazaliwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hata majina yako yanakuwa kama yanajulikana. Because in the spirit world everything is there. Kila kitu kiko wazi. Haleluya. In the physical world hii ambayo tunaishi ndio kuna vitu vime fitika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini katika ulimwengu wa kiroho kila kitu kiko wazi. Sasa Mungu alichapanga mipango yote ambayo kuhusu ulimwengu huu kabla ifanyike Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa Sam kama wewe tayari Mungu alikujua kabla. Na akasema huyu atazaliwa siku fulani. Ataitwa Sam Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kuna predestination yako, yani mwisho wako na chochote ile itafanyika kwa ajili ya maisha ya Mungu tayari acha panga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini there is a season between your birth and your destiny. Hallelujah. Hii season yenye kwa hapa katikati. Kuna another person anaingilia maisha yako. This third person ndio huwa anafanya watu wengi wanakosa kufika kwa the, their pre destination ambaye anaitwa the devil. Sababu kazi yake ni kukuja kuiba hii pre destination yako to cause some distraction along the way the plan bwana yesu asifiwe sababu sahi ukisema hii mwaka si wakati tulikuwa tunakaribia kuvuka watu walisema mwaka kesho makusudio yangu ni 1 2 3 4 5 6 makusudio ni kwamba by the time the year ends mwingine anasema anatamani hao yameundwa shamba ama hao yamejenga hao yameoa ama kuolewa bwana yesu asifiwe hiyo ni mawazo ya the end of it all studio yes. destiny yako at the end of it hii mpango yako inakupeleka wapi but si kuna plan ndio uoe si lazima uende usimamishe msichana ya mtu kama wewe ni kijana lazima uende uambie dada habari gani na uanze kuweka nini kurusha mistari yako mbili tatu ndio hiyo ni that is the process ndio ambayo ndio ina fall under the plan na mwisho wake si ndio mtaenda kwenu na kwao na kila kitu na mpaka tu tufanya harusi ama kama ni ile shortcut mtafanya mkimbie kwa DC finally inakuwa umepata nini mke si ndio so Mungu tayari ashaweka destiny ya kila mtu na destiny ya kila mtu according to God is found on Jeremiah 29 11 
For I know the plans that I have towards you. Plans to prosper. Meaning every one of us is supposed to prosper. Every one of, every one of us is supposed to succeed. That is according to God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nilikuwa ninaambiwa something about education. Education system ya sai is designed in such a way that those who pass exams are uh, treated as if they are succeed. But that is a big lie. Ambayo pia shetani amezungusha ulimwenguni. You pass your exam that is one stage. But the next stage is more important than the first stage. What you earn in college or in any other school, how you will apply it up in the most important bit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa pia katika maisha ya mwanadamu Mungu anapokuweka hapa. Sababu ashakupangia mipango yako tayari ya kwamba huyu ataenda hivi na hivi na hivi au mkulima tajika but how you will utilize the little knowledge utapata ya ukulima ndio itadetermine kama utakuwa mkulima tajika but how will you know jinsi ya kulima kama wewe unajiconnect na wakulima wa kufundisha ukulima is it possible from nowhere ya tuwe ujue kitu Si lazima ukae karibu na mtu ambaye tayari ana hiyo. Sasa the problem na wanadamu is that most of us we want the end result but we don't trust the process. We don't want to go through the process. Hatutaki ku follow the plan. Na plan Mungu aliiweka iwe kidogo iwe eh imefichika so the easiest way wewe kujua plan ya Mungu kwa ajili ya maisha yako ni ku connect maisha yako na Mungu all through because Biblia tukisoma eh, 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 Psalms 23 it tells you maisha ya mwanadamu jinsi ilivyo sio wakati Bwana anakuwa mchungaji wako you will pass through all seasons sio kweli it does not mean hautapita kwa uvuli wa mauti meaning when you connect yourself to god ndio ukuje huyu kujenge gorofa kuna wakati ni uni sweat kuna wakati hata utakutana na makora ambao watataka kukugonga eh eh calf haleluya lakini that is all part of the training ili finally ukuje ujenge gorofa ya kwanza ya pili hauta hautahitaji tena kuconnect na watu wengi because utakuwa unajua process ya kujenga gorofa ni ni bwana Yesu asifiwe. Utakuwa wewe mwenyewe umekuwa expert. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So ukisoma 11 ni kwamba everything ambazo yeye amekupangia anaipanga according to his will. Si according to your will. Sababu destiny yako na mipango yako yeye tayari alishafanya na akakamilisha. Na there is no room for editing ama change. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That is why anasema yeye ni Mungu wa urejesho. So the only thing God can do is kurejesha ile ambayo tayari alikuwa amepanga kwa ajili yako. Si ati kuleta something else. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama wewe ulikuwa uinuke kiwango cha kufikia mahali fulani, hiyo tu ndio anaweza kusababisha tena hii ifanyike. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si ati tena aanze plan nyingine fresh. Haleluya. Sababu yeye si mwanadamu Biblia inasema God is not a man that he should lie or a son of man that he should repent. Ye hawezi ku hawezi ku withdraw anything about tayari ashakusudia. Akishakusudia it basically means it is perfect in his sight. Ukiangalia wakati wa uumbaji Yesu eh ukiangalia jinsi walivyokuwa wanasema and they made it and it was good. There is nothing ambao walitengeneza na wakasema it is what to correct kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Everything to them was good. Sasa hata plan ya Mungu kwa ajili yako is good. So what makes things look hard for us? It is the devil. The devil comes into someone's mind na anakuambia maisha imekuwa ngumu. If you've studied 
trend fulani sasa hii in Kenya ni lips za wa Kenya sasa hii imejaa complete haleluya yani 90% ya wa Kenya ukikutana nao sasa hii wanasema maisha ni ngumu but let me ask you a simple question ukitembea ba hii barabara si unaona gari mpya tu imenunuliwa haleluya Ukienda kwa hiyo hoteli kubwa kubwa si viti tu zimejaa. Ukienda hapo kwa reception uulize utasikia capacity bed capacity kama ilikuwa 200 unaambiwa it is 85% full. Na unapata one night mtu analipa 25,030. Lakini imejaa. Na wewe na kinywa chako unasema maisha? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it basically means ni ngumu kwako lakini kuna mtu mwingine ambaye yeye ameamua ku, kuruhusu Mungu afanye kazi kwa maisha yake. Kuruhusu processes za Mungu zifanye kazi. Haleluya. Na yeye anaishi tu maisha ya kawaida. Akifly kuna mtu ukienda Kenya yao pale first class imefanya nini? Imejaa. We unapoenda kukata second class economy huko yeye yako first class. Ako tu sawa. Na wewe kwa kinywa chako unasema maisha ni Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So if you realize ya kwamba your tomorrow is dependent on your relationship and connection with God today the first thing you will not maybe you will not do is complain you will try as much as possible to avoid complaining sababu spirit ya ku complain is not from God your spirit ambayo kitu ya kwanza inakunyang'anya inakunyang'anya time because it time una west complaining you would have been doing something positive about your life bwana yesu asifiwe number two, every time you complain you attract negative energy ambayo ni laziness bwana yesu asifiwe every time you complain ukisema tu hii kitu haiwezekani kwako wewe haita wezekana lakini someone else ambaye anasema inawezekana atajaribu na itawezekana kwake Bwana Yesu asifiwe If you go to the region where I come from uangalie shamba then usafiri ukuja hapa central province uangalie shamba shamba zinakaa tu sawa zote ni very fertile But someone in central with one acre ni sawa na mtu in Mount Elgon wa like 30 acres. Kwa upande ya utajiri. Reason wale walij limit how they think. Haleluya. Huyu akaamua ya kwamba I will manage my life. I will get rich using this small piece of land. Nitatajirika with this piece of land one acre hapa nitakuwa na ngombe hapa nitakuwa na mbuzi hapa nitakuwa na kuku hapa nitakuwa na nguruwe hapa nitakuwa na duka hapa nitakuwa na mashini ya kufanya biashara zingine inside this one eka yule mwingine wa Mount Elgon alijilimitat nitakuwa na ngombe wa kuranda randa because taki kuchoka so nitafuga ngombe kama 30 wale wa kufanya nini wa kuranda randa so out of 30 acres atakata 15 acres aseme hii malisha ya ngombe ile 15 na baki aseme mimi na familia yangu tuweke around 4 acres hiyo ndio compound na na ujinga ujinga then amebaki na 11 acres ni atapanda mahindi bwana yesu asifiwe na tena anapanda ile mahindi ya ku, ya kuweka angoje mwisho wa mwaka ikauke ataki stress mingi ya kupanda katumani unaangalia unatafuta soko uuze choma ataki hiyo story so yule yako na shamba kubwa lakini thinking yake ameiweka at 10%. Huyu ana shamba kidogo na ame tumia akili yake 100%. End result ni kwamba hawa watu tu hapo level moja. Mwingine ni tajiri wa kimawazo, mwingine ni tajiri wa shamba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. So Mungu wakati you disconnect yourself with God you don't exit planet earth 
but you exit your path. Predestined path. Now, uki exit your predestined path, you join path and bio sasa ni yule move. Ambayo iko na three things. Wizi, uharibifu, na distraction. So, ultimately, you don't reach your desired destiny. Kama wewe ulikuwa ukuwe milionea, kuna uwezekana utakuwa tu mtu tu una, 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 unafanya kazi chakula ya tumbo unapata period haleluya nothing more beyond that bwana yesu asifiwe reason wewe ni ume limit mungu kufanya kazi ndani ya maisha yako by disconnecting from god because everyone has a predestination ambayo mungu amempatia ambayo sasa it is well defined by the bible ya kwamba yote ni to succeed wote all of us tunafaa kufanya nini to succeed all of us are supposed to have dominion bwana yesu asifiwe but the differences zinatokea tu wakati sasa tumeingia into the field ambayo ndio earth kila mtu sasa anaanza kutumia akili na mawazo yake mwenyewe anaji disconnect from the manufacturer once umekataa kufuata manual ya manufacturer kuna uwezekano you will malfunction ukiwa na gari na iko fully loaded na uende kwa mlima umefika kwa mlima and you know very well gear 5 kwa mlima gari yako ikiwa fully loaded haiwezi panda na wewe unalazimisha gear 5 safari yako sitakuwa eh yeah, safari yako itakuwa you have to go down to gear one ama two ni ufanye nini upande yule because you are fully loaded praise the living god so in essence what are we saying daudi akasema katika psalm 143 ya kwamba in the morning when he woke, walks, he woke up alikuwa na connect na nani na mungu and call on your name early in the morning bwana yesu asifiwe so it basically means kila siku unapoanza what you associate what the power you associate yourself with that particular day will determine the direction your day itachukua bwana yesu asifiwe kama uliamka na ukasema ai hey, na leo nikabaridi sana kwani baridi litengenezwa na nani haleluya si litengenezwa na mungu na hii akili wewe Mungu alikupatia hauwezi tumia ujue leo ni baridi you just wear warm mbona unakatiza mipango yako because it is cold mbona ukatiza mipango yako because it is rainy that is now the difference between those who will succeed and those who will not succeed yule ambaye ata succeed ni yule hata mvua ikinyesha kama alikuwa amesema leo naenda town we got umbrellas if got down boots wewe wakati unasema hautaenda town kuna mtu alishafika town wacha ati wewe ndio unapanga kuenda na una, uko na mpango wa pili wa kukatiza kuenda kuna mwingine tayari alishafika town na hiyo mvua lakini wewe sababu ya kualika shetani ndani ya maisha yako yeye yeah, anaiba akili ya kwamba it is possible to go to town when it is raining so wewe unaamua i am not going to town bibi leo nitalala. Na bibi leo anasema a little slumber. Tunajua product yenye itakuja baada yako. The poverty. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, what are we saying about ourselves this year? Sababu this is 2024, a new year, new resolutions. Najua watu walifanya resolutions mingi. All I'll tell you is just write one resolution that this year I'll do that which Jesus wants me to do. Period. So everything in yanakuja kwa maisha yako you will sit down hold your bible say baba biblia inasema nini. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. What is the bible saying about this situation? Because Jesus ndio biblia ndio So you just find your answer inside the Bible. If the Bible says nothing is impossible with God, then you go with that verse. 
unaambia Mungu niko hapa nimekwama na neno inasema nothing is impossible with you mimi ninaenda kwama na hiyo neno tu ya kwamba hakuna jambo lisiloezekana kwa hili naomba ulikwama praise the living god praise the living god unamwambia mimi i'm going to the predestination ambayo wewe ulinipangia and because i know i have to get there but nimefika hapa na ninaona mambo yamekuwa ngumu jinsi ulivyo wakakuamua wale wa kitambo pia na mimi ni kwa moyo praise the living god hii mambo unaandika resolutions mingi sema tu ile kitu unataka mungu ninataka shamba ninataka gari nataka mke nataka mume afya njema nini those are not resolutions those are things about you okay? you want for yourself the resolution is that this year you will walk with Christ in everything Amen. hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe hii mambo unaenda paka unatafuta experts expert wa maisha ambayo yeye hajui jinsi inatengenezwa bwana yesu asifiwe tunaenda unakaa chini counselor na Biblia iko kwako the last time you opened that bible ni Mungu peke yake na shetani wanajua Bwana Yesu asifiwe so if you've not trusted manual ya yule aliyekuumba unaenda ku trust akili ya mtu mwingine ambaye alienda shule kusomea psychology huyu mtu yes sikatai at times ni mzuri ku kukimbia kwingine lakini if that is your primary source of direction You are in the wrong path. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Primary direction yako in life should be from God. Praise the living God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know juzi juzi nimekuwa na eh bahati kidogo tukawa tunaenda a very risky destination, very risky. So tulipofika Dubai wale tulikuwa na kozi wa fokro so watatu ungewaangalia kabisa yani e, mambo ya kwenda huko hawataki <laughs> ku kwenda mpaka ikakuwa tuka ikakuwa tu lazima tufanye a meeting macho meeting na all the heads of department everyone who is involved kwa hiyo operation kwa ground mali tunaenda na from our office ya Dubai office and Ungesikia chenye watu wanasema kwa hiyo meeting jinsi mtu anajielezea una realize huyu na Mungu e, wako mbali kabisa yani huyu leo ikinuka kidogo <laughs> ya anajua mambo si mzuri bwana Yesu asifiwe so mimi nilipofikiwa niliwaambia mimi i, I know that denda iko kila mahali mahali hata hapa tuko i'm sure saa hii kuna watu wamekufa niliwaambia hivyo niliwaambia hata hapa dubai mahali tuko saa hii if you call the authorities they will tell you how many people have died today in dubai na hata huko nairobi mahali mko if you call the authorities they will tell you how many have died so mimi i'm not very worried about death because i know it is something that it will, will come like it or not But one thing I am sure of is that I'll die when God says so. Amen. Not when some terrorist somewhere says so. So maybe I have no problem going there. Uh, I trust that God will see us through kwenda na kurudi. But I in so saying I don't mean to say we should not employ all necessary security measures. But it should not mean ya kwamba tukishaweka hiyo so we are safe. We are only safe in the hands of God. Mimi mwanzo mimi nikaona majamaa wananiangalia nikamwambia ni ukweli bwana. Si mimi sidanganyi hiyo ni ukweli. That is my faith. Ya kwamba ninajua hata hapa saa hii inaweza haribika. Ili haribika New York City katikati. One of the cities ambayo nasema it is a safe place. Si World Trade Center iliwekwa chini. Huko haikukuwa awazo. It was a very peaceful city. But all of a sudden mambo ili So it is God who keeps you safe. It is God who will ensure that you get to your predestination. So anytime you disconnect yourself with God, you disconnected yourself with your success because Biblia inasema ni yeye ndiye anakupatia power to create wealth. It is him who makes you 
rise from one glory to another. It is him who will rise you from dust and sit you down with kings of one table. So as long as you are away or out of his plan, ile ambayo tayari alikuwa amekupangia kuketi pamoja na mfalme kwa meza moja you forget it bwana yesu asifiwe so this year let us purpose to walk with christ let us purpose to just befriend the bible let us purpose to do what that with the bible says and let me tell you the truth the biggest problem with christians is one thing ambayo they mengia ndani ya christianity kabisa hypocrisy Wacha ni sikudanganye mimi si lazima ni kuonyesha napenda Kristo si lazima ni kuonyesha na jua kuona si lazima ni kuonyesha chochote ambacho ninafanya kwa ajili ya Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe This is a personal walk with Christ So personalize your walk with Christ Personalize your relationship with Christ Wakati unaomba omba sababu unajua unaomba sababu yako na familia yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is for your own good. Collectively wakati tutakutana hapa watu ambao kila mtu anaomba ya kwamba Mungu aongoze maisha yake. Tutakapokutana hapa tunakutana wote tukiwa watu moto. Tukiiti tukiitia jina la Mungu kwa sauti moja ana shuka. Lakini at individual level let us purpose to be that which Christ wanted us to be. So wacha hii mambo ya mimi nikianza kufanya Ukristo wangu ati wewe ujue mimi ni Mkristo that one you the hypocrisy of, of the highest order. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In any case, kitu nimegundua ni kwamba time kubwa niko peke yangu kuliko time ambayo niko na Wakristo wenzangu. So that time ambayo niko peke yangu is what counts. Sababu I am sure hakuna mtu atafanya dhambi ndani ya kanisa hapa. Amen. Hapa watu wote wata behave kama Saint Paul. Ma Saint Peter ama ule kwa Dorcas wa Biblia ule alikuwa anafanya matendo mazuri kwa <laughs> kwa kanisa naona mama hiyo jina ni kama ile ilipatia hiyo baraka ya kufanya matendo mazuri kwa kanisa so kila mtu hapa ata behave kama mtu mtakatifu lakini the most important thing is sasa hatuko na wewe do you sell the same face yenye unatuonyesha hapa the same eh? Is that what you show there? Ama, ama ukifika pale nje una deviate from the course. Ili tena u deviate from your predestination at the end of it all. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So what counts is wakati wewe umetoka nje ya ile mlango bado unatembea na Kristo. Wakati uko peke yako asubuhi do you remember to pray because it is God who has given you the grace ya kuona a new day. Do you remember to say thank you God? Leo hii umeni ruhusu nikaona tarehe mpya. And on this date I know that you got good plans for me. Plans ambazo ulizifanya before the foundations of the world. I want to walk in them. And if by any chance I'm behind time because of my own omissions in life, because of my own failures, I trust you Jehovah to give me speed to recover all lost time bwana yesu asifiwe so that ana compress vitu zako zina fit vitu za 10 years na fit into 1 year i was telling someone juzi juzi and uh, i like not talking about this but for the purposes of teaching wacha tu niseme ya kwamba mimi for 13 years 7 months ambaye nilifanya kazi Kenya Airways i was earning more than what i'm earning now but i did nothing but kwa ile kipindi nimekuwa saa hii na nimetembea na Kristo nime ni, kazi nimefanya pata zote mbili azije kuwa na mshahara sawa na ile ya ya kwanza but nimefanya mambo like 20 times ile nili fanya in 1300 seven marks bwana yesu asifiwe meaning if you trust Christ and walk with Christ kuna speed fulani anakupatia kwa maisha yako ambayo sio sawa na yule mtu ambaye ana ana add some, some value to kazi ya mikono yako inakuwa na na, na maana bwana yesu asifiwe earnings zako aziingii kwa kwa shimu zina at, at least mwaka ikienda kuisha uulizwe hii mwaka ulifanya nini you can 
sit down and tell someone, my father, one, two, three, four. If you are with Christ. But you are, if you are out of Christ, how many bars are visited? How many new places in the Nigeria? It's a shame. It's a shame. If you ask me, come on, I'll tell you, I don't know. Because in any case, I'll tell you, I don't know. Because in any case, I'll tell you, I don't know. Because in any case, I'll tell you, I don't know. Because in any case, I'll tell you, mzuri kwangu na nikule tu vizuri. Eh nikisikia kukula tu pop mzuri si lazima nienda nje. Kusikia kwenda nje iko once na wai. Lakini si lazima kila siku. Nikisikia kula pop inajua mahali butchery iko na ninajua design ya kupika pop. Tenda nijipikie. Hadi tulimchipa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini sitakuwa nimekula pop. Kule yako kepiski atakuwa amekula kitu kingine ama ni pop. Si ni pop. Si ya atakuwa umetumia 20000 na mimi nitakuwa nimetumia less than 1000 na wote tumeshinda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So hiyo ndio neema Mungu anashushanga juu ya mtu. When you walk with God there are things ambazo zinakuondokea bila wewe ku struggle. Hata friends simu yangu imejaa saa hii because of not the contacts wengine wa kazi. Lakini nikitoa contacts wa kazi labda ni watu wa kanisani na relatives na marafiki very lean ambao ni helpful so marafiki parasites if you trust process ya Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe if you trust God along the way Bwana Yesu asifiwe hapo ndio utapatana na mke wa Potifar hiyo ni bonde wa vuli wa mauti ambaye atakosa wewe uingie jela ukiwa jela wafungwa wenzako ambao ni wale moja sababu mtakuwa mnaongea pamoja wakiota ndoto utaanza kuwaambia ya kwamba hii inamaanisha hivi na hao wafungwa wataambia ule mkubwa wa jela au huyu anaona anapapanuanga nini wakati mfalme atachanganyikiwa na huyu jamaa ana connection mpaka kwa mfalme atasema wacha kusumbuka kuna jamaa hapa kwa jela ufunguo ya kuingia kwa jela ilitokana na kisirani fulani alipata kwa nyumba ya Potifar na ndio sababu hata ameanza kuko so plan ya Mungu saa zingine hata itakupeleka kwa kashimo kidogo ndio urudi kukutana na nani na mfalme bwana Yesu asifiwe ndio kuja kuwa prime minister mpango ya Mungu hata atafanya labda wakati mwingine relatives wako wakuke wako chukie wakuuze kama huyo Yusuf ni ukuja kuwa prime minister so si ati mpango ya Mungu yote ni smooth uvuli wa mauti uta mitia and that is why nakwambia trust the process by following the bible every morning unaamka unasema Mungu yes leo ninaona imekuwa mzito na ninakushukuru ni kwa sababu gani this is the day that you made and in this problem i trust you ya kwamba the end of it all all things work for good to them that i Christ Jesus to them that are according the calling according to the purpose of Christ bwana Yesu asifiwe so it is just applying the bible as it is bila kuedit bila kuanza kufikiria sana unaachia Mungu ndio unasikia anasema jioni ninyi nyote mliolemewa na mizigo mizito na amenita wapumzishe ya kwamba nira yake ni laini na nyepesi bwana Yesu asifiwe meaning he knows that at some point mzigo ile itakuwa imeangelewa along the way kwako itakuwa mzito but it is not his responsibility to make you come to him and drop the, the lords on his feet no it is not his responsibility it is your responsibility the responsibility yako kukimbia tu kwa mago na unajua si lazima uje hapa hata kwa room yako hata hapo kazini kisirani imetokea na acha niwaambie mahali shetani ana operate pakubwa ni kwa kazi lakini if you trust the process unaomba ukiingia kwa hizo wewe unafanya kazi na watu ambao wali walitoa wali, wali, wali sacrifice kubwa ile wewe ujiwahi toa kwa kisima na walitoa kwa maboma za ma, e, za giza mwingine alitoa mtoto yake mwingine alili hey. alafu wewe unaenda you are in the same office you are operating on two different levels spiritually ye yeah, alienda kabisa kwa ile rank yao ya pande ile yako level nyingine alafu wewe unaingia huko unangojea maombi ya apostle utakarangu bwana Yesu asifiwe utakarangu utakuwa unasema tu nimeokoka lakini warnings zina zinatembea tu one after 
anaga lakini ukiingia kwa hiyo room na unasema Yesu hapa mimi sina nguvu wewe ndio mwenye nguvu zote hapa sina uwezo wewe ndio mwenye uwezo wote nguvu ambayo natembea nayo inatoka kwako hekima ambayo nina apply ndani ya kazi inatoka kwako maarifa yote inatoka kwako na hata maadui zangu hapa wote ninawaweka mikononi mwako mimi ninakataa kupigana nipigane Bwana Yesu asifiwe na siogopi chochote kazi nitakayopewa as long as iko in line na duty zangu nitafanya wewe ndio utanizezesha Bwana Yesu asifiwe unachapa kazi mpaka watu wanakuogopa si wewe unaogopa watu wanaku na si wewe ni Yesu anafanya watu waku wakuogopa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Niwaambia kuna vita zingine nilikuwa naupigwa huko. Eh, nikawa ninafanyishwa kazi na tundege tingine hiyo. Remember ile wakati nilikaa karibu 3 months kama zijui mwasiki sionekani sande. Na unapata ni ile tu umeenda hapa Mwanza Mogadishu, Dar es Salaam, yeah, Entebbe. Hapa tu, yani wamekufungia kamba. Wakasema huyu mneri atazunguka regional flight. Nikakuja nikaona yeye niko kazi niliomba kazi nitachapa nini kazi lakini nikaambia Mungu mbona mimi ninazunguka tu hapa tu lakini kuna watu ukiangalia tu kwa mtandao wako Hongo kidogo wako Bangkok kidogo wako Dubai kidogo wako huko Yerevan eh Saudi ninaona tu kwa mtandao hata Saudi Arabia walikuwa ni kazi hapa tu sababu mimi nilikuwa nachezea East Africa Bwana Yesu asifiwe ndio hapa tu Afrika nilikuwa nimefungiwa kabisa nikaomba sana mimi nilikuwa naenda saa zingine hapa natoka kazi unajua sasa hiyo trip hapa karibu najipata by saa sita na nusu saa saba sharudi so ndio nilikuwa naniona saa zingine na hivyo nasema saa hii baada hata haijaisha na mbili jamaa nikimbize na ni drop hapa naingia na hata kama napata ile neema ya mwisho bora nimeingia tu lakini ilifika wakati wakati Mungu aliamua kuingilia ilikuwa lazima si ati ni tafadhali sasa ilikuwa ni lazima because ilifika mahali au majama wote wakawa wako available mimi ndio niko available na unfortunately niko available na kwa eh, aviation industry hata kama ume train a certain equipment you are not supposed to fly on it until you check out na fa fly na ule mwenye amekuwa current fly na hiyo equipment for some time alafu ndio aku certify kwamba you are you are okay so ili bibi jamaa atolewe kisumu alikuwa likizo akaanza hapa hakuna panda the next flight kuja Nairobi wewe na mneri yako kwa ndege usiku na tangu hapo sasa zile equipment zote kubwa mbili ni lazima kwani lazimika akaambia ana mkubwa sasa huyo mtu wa train zote kwani ilikuwaaje asile ame train all this way bwana Yesu asifiwe nikajua ni ile neema inatoka hapa bwana Yesu asifiwe so at times you don't fight vita si vyako vita ni vya You don't complain. You just do that which will make up the echo without complain. Why? It is not in our place to complain. Wewe fanya kuja mbele za Mungu mwambie Mungu I'm supposed to be handling this but what pachacha wamekusanyika kinyume nami wamenizuia. Wewe fungua bila milango yangu yote. Lakini ninakushukuru anyway for what I am doing. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the living God. So sasa hivi nazurura nimezurura kama nikuzunguka nime nimezunguka yeah. so that is working with uh, god bwana yesu asifiwe and there are things ambazo uh, happen zile mbaya mbaya ni nzuri why because how else will you know that god is powerful if these things don't happen bwana yesu asifiwe so ukiwa mgonjwa kuombewa upone si ndio unajua kwamba mungu ni mponyaji So wakati mwingine Mungu ataruhusu kitu kifanyike ili jina lake lifanye nini? So kitu ikifanyika wacha kukomplain. Sasa zingine Mungu anataka tu atukuzi kwa jambo hilo. Ukiona kazi imekataana kabisa, wacha kukomplain. Kuja hapa piga magoti. Ambia Mungu sasa mimi kukula nimeshindwa. Kulipa nyumba nimeshindwa. Lakini ninajua kitu kimoja. Ya kwamba ukiingilia kati situation hii sababu hii si mpango wako kwa ajili yangu mpango wako ni kwamba mimi niwe sawa ukiingilia kati nitarudi back to your plan concerning me bwana yesu asifiwe so ninaomba baba wewe ambaye ndiwe mungu wa mianga yote 
wewe ambaye ndio Mungu ambaye unapeana vitu vyote vilivyo vizuri God does not give evil gifts bad gifts the bible says he gives good gifts Bwana Yesu asifiwe vitu vyote vizuri vinatoka kwa <coughs> so unamwambia Mungu Mungu hii ninajua hii unaweza inawezekana kwamba umeiruhusu hii lakini pia ninajua kwamba pia mlango wa kuondokea kwa jambo hili ni wewe tu unaweza kukua Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the living God Amen. So ndani ya mwaka huu mwezi huu ukiwa wa kwanza nataka tuinduke kwa miguu yetu because sisi tuna waume sisi tuna wake sisi tuna watoto sisi tuna kazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sisi tuna maazimio yetu ya mwaka huu sisi tuna mipango mingi na kuna vitu vingi ambavyo labda hata ulishaanzisha alafu ikafika mahali ikawa ni kama ime imekwama Bwana Yesu asifiwe that was in the past but now moving forward we want to invite the power of God we want to invite Christ into our lives into every sphere of our lives Bwana Yesu asifiwe ili kutoka sasa kusonga mbele tusitembee kwa akili na mawazo yetu mwenyewe tusitembee kwa mipango yetu bila ku ulizia kwamba what is god's intentions what is god's plan what is god's say concern, concerning this bona is was if ya kwamba kutoka leo kwenda mbele mungu akaingilia maisha ya kila mmoja wetu mungu akatende mapenzi yake sawa sawa na neno lake hapo kwa verse 11 ya kwamba he does everything according to his own will according to his own Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na purpose ya Mungu sababu tumejua ya kwamba hakuna mtu Mungu ameumba aje ahangaike duniani. Aje ataabike duniani. Mungu ametuumba sote tuwe successful because we are all priesthood, priesthood, a chosen generation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi wote tumeumbwa kwa mfano wake. And God is light. God is love. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So wewe unafaa kuwa light kwa chochote ambacho unafanya unafaa kuwa an example to the rest ambao wanakuja nyuma yako in anything that you do kama wewe ni hotelia watu wote wanafaa kusema huyu ndio mwenye hoteli nzuri kama wewe ni mkulima wanafaa ukipanda mboga wanasema ukitaka mboga mzuri enda kwa fulani bwana yesu asifiwe praise the living god and how well do we achieve this it is just by making sure that mwongozo wetu unatoka wapi kwake kristo nguvu yetu inatoka kwake kristo and apart from requesting for hiyo grace ya kusonga mbele it is also good to remember ya kwamba Mungu anapotenda na kama kuna kitu ametenda kwako ya kwamba it is also always good to remember ya kwamba unaongezewa tu wakati umshukuru kwa ile ambayo ulipata kabla Bwana Yesu asifiwe so if there is something that God alikuwa amefanya kwa maisha yako na hauje kumbuka kurudisha shukrani itakuwa very irresponsible of you itakuwa very rude of you to ask for more when ulishindwa tu kusema asante kwa ile ya kwanza nikija kwako ni kuombe viatu ulipe nitoke tu bila kusema asante iwe ni kama ilikuwa ni haki yangu ku chukua viatu then i go after two weeks nirudi ni wambie sasa nisaidie suti kuna uwezekano hautanipa suti lakini kama nilisema asante sana brother eh hey, umenisaidia sana hii alafu niende nikirudi ni kuambia sasa niko na interview ile viatu yako ilinisaidia ile siku ndugu lakini sasa nimepata interview na sina suti na lazima ni nipe tu hata nivae nitakurudishia kuna uwezekano uta utanipa bwana yesu asifiwe so mungu sababu sisi ni mfano wa mungu there are things ambazo sisi tuko nazo ambazo mungu ako nayo ambayo ni wivu kama mmoja wao god is a jealous god kama alikupa kitu na wewe ukaamua tu sasa hii ni kama ilikuwa haki yako alafu sasa tena umerudi hapa unaomba kingine kuna uwezekano ya kwamba hautapata so tukimbie tu mbele zake ndani ya mwaka huu jinsi tumeanza sababu tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu mwaka huu atuongezee ya kwamba tutembee ndani ya mipango yake mwaka huu tukimbie tu mbele zake kwa maombi saa hii tumwambie baba tusamee iwapo kuna kitu ambacho ulitupa kuna ulitufanyia ambao baba eh, hatujerudi kusema shukrani tumekuwa wapumbavu tukakosa kusema shukrani
Baba tusamehe. Masia katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo. Asubuhi ya leo tunakuimbia mbele zako. Yesu ninakuja tu mbele zako Baba. Masia kanisamee dhambi na makosa yangu. Iwapo Jehova kuna sababu Jehova ya, 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 ya mimi kutapokea kwako Bwana. Sababu ya kwamba Jehova ulinipariki, ulinipa vitu ulifungua milango. Na Baba nikakosa kurudi kwa nyumba yako. Nikakosa kurudi mbele zako kusema asante. Nikakosa Baba kufanya Baba kazi yako kwa nyumba yako jinsi ipasavyo Bwana. Na Baba wewe ulikuwa umenyimwa na kunibariki. Yesu ninaomba kwa nisamehe. Baba baba kulikuwa na wale wana wale wa kubavu na wale baba wenye hekima. Baba leo hii ninakataa kuwa mmoja wa wale wa kubavu na baba ninakimbia kwa kweli naomba nisamehe Bwana. Ya kwamba nikae sawa na wale wenye hekima baba waliokumbuka kurudi kusema asante. Yesu nisamehe mali Jehova nimepungukiwa baba mali sijafanya kazi kwa nyumba yangu ni pasaje. Masia nimepewa Jehova jukumu ndani ya nyumba yangu. Wengine uimbaji, wengine maombi, wengine baba kutoa
Asante kwa magonjwa mengi ambayo umetuondolea. Yes, tunajua kuna mengine bado baba yanasumbua wana wako hapa ndani. Lakini tunakushukuru kwa kuwa pia kuna mengi ambayo umeandoa Bwana. Na leo hii baba yale ambayo yamebakia Bwana Yesu tunakimbia mbele zako tunaziweka miguuni mwako Magonjwa hayo Yesu tunayakataa. Magonjwa hayo Yesu tunayakataa. Magonjwa hayo Yesu tunayakataa. Magonjwa hayo Yesu tunayakataa. Tuna Katika jina takatifu Yesu. Holy Spirit. We ask that you descend on this place. Dada huyo Bwana, ndugu huyo Bwana. Destroy all the yokes of the enemy. Every yoke of the enemy. We ask that let it be lifted. Let it be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nguvu zote za giza. Ipango yote ya ule mbubu. Jama zake zote. Tunayikata katika jina za kashanezi. Bwana wa mungu wana tunalibariki jina la. Mungu wa mungu wa ediwe unawapatanisha watu wa wili bwana. Unasema wa wili wa kiwe kwa pamoja bwana. Let no man, O Lord, break them, O Lord. Let no man put a sander. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tunabariki ndoa zetu zote bwana. Jehova wale wa kulete fitina kwa ndoa. Wale wa kulete miga wanyiku. Wale wa kulete kisirani. Mapando yote ya ule mungu. Ya kufanya kue na mikorogo bwana kwa mandoa zetu. Tunazikataka we approach those in the mighty name of Jesus. We approach confusion. We approach disagreement. We approach disagreement in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jehovah, we ask, oh Lord, for your spirit, oh Lord. We are going to be in a calm, oh Lord. We are going to be in a peace, oh Lord. We are going to be in a Jehovah, unity of purpose. Father, I thank you. I glorify your name. I magnify your name. Watu wana struggle baba na fedha. Neno lako linasema baba ya kwamba wewe ni mchungaji wetu. Hatutapungukiwa na lolote. Yesu hatutapungukiwa na fedha. Yesu hatutapungukiwa na fedha. Maana fedha na dhahabu ni kazi ya mikono yako. Masia yule muovu amekuja ameiba neno hilo kwa maisha ya mtoto wako. Ameiba neno hilo kwa maisha ya mzee huyu. Ameiba neno hilo kwa maisha ya mama huyu. Ameiba neno hilo kwa maisha ya mtoto huyu ya kwamba fedha imekosekana bwana mtoto ameshindwa kwenda shule mama ameshindwa kulipa bills zake mzee ameshindwa kulipa bills zake sababu yule muovu ameingia kwa maisha yao na amewanyang'anya fedha katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo tunakualika tena bwana tunakualika tena Yesu tunakualika tena bwana papa sababisha oh lord papa sababisha atana round kwa maisha yao bwana sababisha atana round bwana wacha fedha zikapatikane wacha dhahabu ikapatikane wacha Mungu wa miungu tena mikono yao baba ikashike fedha bwana Mungu wa miungu tunalibariki jina lako. Maana siku zote tumeliitia jina lako hatujaibika. Mungu wa miungu kuna wale wamepanga mipango kinyume na wana wako Bwana. Wana hawa wamesimama na kazi yako kwa nyumba hii Bwana. Yesu wengine wanapanga mipango ya kwamba mifuko yao ikakauke Bwana. Ya kwamba kazi ya mikono yao isiinuke. Wengine wamenyang'anywa kazi zao Bwana. Na Yesu kumbuka ya kwamba walikuwa wanasimama na kazi yako hapa Bwana. Walikuwa wanafanya kazi ndani ya nyumba hii Bwana. Yesu yule muovu akaingia aka nyanganya Yesu. Masia tunaomba ya kwamba ukafungue mlango mwingine tena. Yesu fungua mlango mkubwa kuliko uliokuwa wa kwanza. Fungua mlango mkubwa kuliko uliokuwa wa kwanza. Yesu sababisha kazi kubwa kuliko iliyokuwa ya kwanza. Yesu sababisha mapato makubwa kuliko iliyokuwa ya kwanza. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, wacha na ijulikane ya kwamba unaishi. Wacha ijulikane ya kwamba wewe ni wa urejesho Bwana. Wacha na ijulikane ya kwamba wewe ni wa urejesho Yesu. Mungu wa miungu ndani ya 2024 Yesu. Ndani ya 2024 Yesu watu wanajenga manyumba. Ndani ya 2024 Bwana mawazo ya watu inapanuka Bwana. Wale ambao wanatembea na wewe ndani ya nyumba hii Yesu unapanua mawazo yao. Unabadilisha jinsi wanavyoenda. Yesu tunaondoa spirit of complaining. Tunaondoa spirit of poverty. Tunaondoa spirit of laziness. Yesu tuna Patia watu mawana mawazo mena baba Maono baba jehova Yesu tunawamba ya kwamba ukawapi watu maono makubwa Katika china la Yesu Christo Mungu wa miungu sababisha ya kwamba wana wako wakafuwe Yeshara kubwa kubwa na zika fanikiwe Sababisha wana wako baba wakapate makazi kubwa kubwa Yesu Sababisha wana wako baba Wawe wenye kurauka mapema mwana Na kukimia kutafuta vitu vikubwa Katika china la Yesu Christo Tunakataa uvivu Tunakataa uvivu Tunakataa unyoke Tunakataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Leo hii baba, spirit hiyo ya ya unyonge baba, spirit hiyo ya laziness, ndani ya wana wako Yesu. Tunaiapproach the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit ya uzi
wacha neno lako likakue kipia baba maishani mwao wakajua ya kwamba hakuna jambo lililogumu bora wakitembea na wewe bwana wakajua ya kwamba hakuna kitu ambacho ambacho hakiwezekani yesu you you do things alone kwa maisha yao bwana mambo makubwa bwana ambao watakuwa jehovah spectacle machoni pa wana, wa, wanadamu wengine in the mighty name of jesus we worship you king of glory we magnify your name jehovah Baba wana wako waliingia kwa malango yako baba. Walipoingia kwa malango yako baba kila mmoja wetu ameingia Yesu na makusudio fulani bwana. Kuna yule ameingia bwana. Turudisha shukrani kwa yale umetenda bwana. Kuna yule ameingia akiwa na kilio bwana ya kwamba ugonjwa umemsonga. Kuna yule ameingia bwana akiwa na kilio baba financially. Yesu leo hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba leo hii katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wewe ni Mungu mkuu. Wewe ni bwana na wa mabwana wewe ni jemendari wa majemendari mwamba imara usiotikizika wewe jehova hakuna jambo lililo gumu la kukushinda wewe masia tunakataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba hakuna atakaye ingia ndani ya nyumba hii na aondoke jinsi alivyokuja Yesu yule aliyekuja na mzigo mzito baba Yesu tunaomba ya kwamba leo isababisha jibu bwana sababisha jibu bwana sababisha jibu bwana sababisha jibu bwana sababisha solution sababisha solution in the mighty name of Jesus. Na Yesu, tunapoinua mikono yetu sisi sote bwana. Tunapoinua sisi sote kama kanisa mikono yetu juu bwana. Tunakiri bwana ya kwamba bwana wewe ni Mungu, hakuna aliye kama wewe. Tunainua mikono yetu tukisema sisi bila wewe bwana hatuwezi. Sisi bila nguvu zako hatuwezi. Tunakiri bwana ya kwamba Jehova wewe ulikuja ukafa kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu ukaingia ukashuka kuzimu ukachukua funguo baba Jehova Yesu sasa hivi umeketi kuume kwa Mungu baba ya kwamba Jehova utarudi tena baba utarudi siku ya mwisho na sasa hivi umetuachia roho wako bwana ya kwamba Jehova tukiliitia jina lako Yesu hakuna jambo litakalo tuweza kwa hiyo tukiwa tumeinua mikono yetu bwana Yesu tunaliitia jina lako sawa sawa na mapenzi yako bwana ya kwamba ndani ya nyumba hii baba chochote ya ambacho si mapenzi yako chochote ambacho si mapenzi yako tukiwa tumekuinulia wewe Yesu mikono yetu anything that is not your will concerning each one of us anything that is not your will Jehovah we are protected in the mighty name of Jesus anything that is not your will Lord cause it to be uprooted any plans anything oh Lord any deposit of the devil inside of us we are rooted in the mighty name of Jesus Yesu tume surrender kwa kwa Bwana tumeinua mikono Bwana yetu kwa kwa Bwana ya kwamba ukatende mapenzi yako baba maisha yetu na baba Yesu any agent of the evil one any agent of the evil one in the mighty name of Jesus any agent of the evil one Mungu sagiza asina mamlaka mahala hapa in the mighty name of Jesus any agent of the devil hana mamlaka mahala hapa Mungu zote zagiza mapepo zote zagiza asina mamlaka mahala hapa Mungu zote za machini Mungu zote za waganga na wachawi asina mamlaka mahala hapa iwapo kuna mtu Yesu kwa watu walienda baba kuanganga kwa ajili yake wakafanya maisha yake kwa sababu wameingia mahala hapa Yesu wacha moto ukashuke kutoka juu moto ulioshusha wakati wa enja bwana ukalamba kazi baba ya ule mungu yesu leo hii shusha moto bwana shusha moto bwana shusha moto bwana lamba kazi ya giza lamba mapendo yake ya giza katika jina la yesu tunalibariki jina lako tunaliinua jina lako yesu tunalisifu jina lako yesu baba ni asante kwa msamaha wa dhambi ni asante kwa ajili ya ukombozi ni asante kwa uponyaji bwana magonjwa yote baba ya kimapepo umeondoa kansa umeondoa afsa umeondoa hypertension umeondoa diabetes umeondoa yesu blood vision umeondoa asia chochote ambacho baba ni cha viungo baba yesu umeondoa na sasa tuna declare total healing kwa wana wa katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo baba ni asante uinuliwe bwana utukuzwe yetu Yesu upewe sifa milele yote haya tumeomba katika jina safi la Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi wetu